Hello there, today we've got the Kerno Beta 3100, but this is the late version. And I thought I recognise that chassis, and I'm right to recognise that chassis because it's the same one used in the Midland 98. This is the 98 Plus. Apart from this separate SP board, it's the same radio. And of course, we've got a user instructions with a circuit diagram for the Midland 98. It's not too difficult to have come up with a bit of a crib sheet to be able to show you most of the procedures on this. I will admit I've no idea how the VCO is done. So straight away this radio is doing 3 watts and so straight away we'll go for transformer 8 in transmit section and transformer 8 is this one here so let's see it's just over the 3 watts three point two I'm on channel 20 on the it's an 80 channel set this so I'm on the um, UK mode. The customer doesn't e use the EU mode like most of us don't. And then moving on to T11. And finally on to L3. Try not to trim the drop the trim tool. So having gone through that meticulously, variable resistor five there is the power preset on these radios. So I set that to full. Got maximum on the T8 through to L3, and then drop the power back down to um, four watts because this radio does, was doing just over five on full power. We don't like to thrash them apart from the fact that it would be illegal. So, um, let's see whether we can uh, put this on frequency. Let's see if it's off frequency. Um, 27.79.125 is a little bit high. 27.79.164 TC1 next to the crystal there is the trimmer capacitor. It was well within, but whilst it's here, we'll get it spot on. So that's now done. Now I can't spot there being a power meter preset. It has an LCD display with a meter on it. And when we press transmit, it gives us four bars on the bar graph. But unfortunately, I can't spot an adjustment for that. What we will do, though, is however, is the deviation. Getting the small oscillator out that I have here. I'm going to put that into transmit. And what have we got? Um, one. Not a lot. I'll have to just turn that to full to get 2.2 deviation. But let's see what it's like with the whistle test. It's actually over the top, so it's it's the way the sensitivity is on the microphone. There we go. That's now set using VR4 there for the deviation. So that's now set up. And you may wish to join me on a separate video for the receive side of this radio.